Power BI is one of the most in-demand tool in the market used for data analysis and visualization. And as a Power BI user, we should know what is append query, what is merge query, which one we're going to use when, and what is the exact difference between these two. And also, this is one of the most commonly asked questions during an interview for a Power BI job. Before we understand this append and merge query in detail, did you know that one can learn Power BI in just two months and expect a salary package of 6 lakh per annum even as a fresher? If not, then stay till the end to know more about it. For now, let's understand append and merge query in detail practically with sample data. Let's head over to the laptop. So here we have a very interesting option to talk about, which is merge and append queries. If you see under the home tab on the right hand side, we have merge queries and append queries. So what are these, by the way? Let us understand it uh, uh, theoretically um, through this discussion. See, merging the queries is just like adding new columns from other table. You may have used VLOOKUP uh, in Excel, right? So just consider this as VLOOKUP, okay? Based on one common column, you're going to fetch another column from the uh, other table. The other thing which is known as append queries is basically adding new rows in the existing or uh, you can create a new table altogether. Now, we'll be talking about these two. We'll be understanding these two features. First, let us talk about append queries first we'll be creating a table and then we'll be using merge into that also okay for the demo prep purposes and we have a very relevant uh, example with us so we got all the three files now so we have the three files the purpose is that we won't be loading them directly into power bi what i want is i want to keep only one sales file right and that's where appending the query actually comes in and help us so we'll be creating one single uh table or a query out of these three okay how to do it under the home tab as i've already mentioned on the rightmost corner we have append queries and in the drop down we have an option of append queries as new so suppose i am right now in 2017 and if i go with append queries it will simply add a few more rows here into this table which i don't want i don't want to temper these three tables queries so i'll simply go to append queries as new okay so it will be popping up a box over here as you can see how many tables you want to connect uh two or three or more i want to yes connect to three or more you can see we have three tables it is already showing me 2017 over here because that was already selected at the time of clicking on this option right so it's absolutely fine i want to add 2015 so i'll simply select it click on add it will go over there i'll select it 2016 and i'll click on add boom it's here right so we have all the three queries with us the sequence i don't like because it's coming 2017 as the first one and if i click ok it will merge in this sequence only the data will appear in this sequence which i don't want so what i'll do i'll simply shift i can shift it uh, to the bottom so i'll select it and you can see the arrow over here i'll click it twice and it will take me to the end of this box i'll click ok and that's it so it's just processing once again and there we go we got a new table in the name of append one i don't want to keep this name so what i would say f hyphen sales that's it okay so i've given this name to this entire uh table and we got all these i wanted to show you that uh, uh it, whether it has connected to all that uh, data or not how we can actually do it wanted to show you through one means over here if i go to transform and this order date is selected you know that the data is for two and a half years right from the very first of january 2015 till 30th june 2017 so if this is selected i'll go to transform and there you can see statistics and now i would say uh, so sorry my mistake i need to go to date by the way in the date i would say uh, earliest is already there by the way so i'll go with latest so it will convert the entire table into one value which is actually something i don't want i just wanted to show you what is the latest date it says 30th of june 2017 that is what i was looking for i'll simply remove the step and the entire table will come back so this is a process of appending the query i hope you got the idea let us talk about merging the queries. Remember, merging the queries means adding a new column. How to 
do merging suppose over here if you see what all we have i wanted to concentrate you on one thing we have the product key available right but we don't have the product cost suppose i want to fetch the product cost over here how we can do it okay or maybe i want to uh, fetch the product model here how can we do it i i'll just fetch the product cost for uh, sample purposes so for this if you see uh, we should be having the product table also which we didn't connect to so far so let us first connect to the product table so for this we'll go to new source we'll go to text or csv and i'll simply select the products table i'll click open this is the same way we have to do right connecting through the data is similar to what we have understood so far so let it do its job okay okay and you will notice it will start processing the same and we'll end up having one products table here you can see adventure works products so first of all i'll change this name to what think about it think about it think about it fact or dimension fact or dimension is going to be yes it's going to be dimension right it's not a fact it's not the transaction it's a it's a dimension table right masters basically now uh, just check the data types everything is fine or not just go through with this yes absolutely fine i think power bi is good very good and that's it and you can see we have the product cost column here this is what we need to fetch it into the sales table based on which common column think about it think about it that's going to be the product key right we have the product key in sales also we have the product key in products table also so we need to match it and based on that we're going to fetch the cost of the product yes okay so i'll go to the sales table and here what do i need to do dun dun under the home tab on the rightmost corner you can see merge queries under the merge queries we can click on the drop down do you want to merge it over here or you want to merge it as a new no i don't want to do it as a new i'll simply go with merge queries ta ta na okay let's click on merge queries so what it'll te technically do it will simply put the column here inside the sales table okay and this is a visual vlookup yes if you are an excel user you know about vlookup and this is quite amazing it's a visual vlookup over here what do we have we have the sales table we have the entire sales table and over here we don't have other table so first we need to choose from which table you need to fetch the values you remember it's going to be the products table so in the drop down i'll come to choose the products and it will show me everything related to the products table what do we have common think about it we have product key so once i click guys look at that once i click over here you will notice at the bottom it says select the same number of columns from both visible tables to continue so we are half way okay now you need to concentrate here at the bottom the moment i click on the product key it will do something over here something magical will happen so let's click on the product key and there we go there we go we got it and you can see it's mentioned as the selection matches these many rows from the first table it means we are good there is a green check ah we like it a lot like it a la yeah okay so this green check let's click okay and we are done not yet by the way but we got a new column in the name of products and you can see every cell of this a uh, column is having the table with the link actually because think about it we mentioned that okay from which table we need the values but we didn't mention that which column of that table we need it over here okay so that is the reason it bought the entire table for us now we have to choose the column how we can do it if you see we have this double arrow okay so we'll click over here and it will open up the list of all the columns that are there in the products table that you can choose from you can also select the all column it means it will fetch all the columns from the product over here which we don't want because it is ultimately making the table redundant okay in fact this procedure is making the data redundant although we are not going to use it i'm just showing you for your understanding purposes for a sample purposes it is better to build a relationship and get the data instead of putting the data 
in in each of those table it's not good to do it anyways so i'll simply uncheck it what we are looking for is the product cost remember so i'll simply go over here and check the product cost and one little option here which says use original column name as prefix okay now what is the original name of the column is basically products do you want to keep that as prefix so it will come like d products dot product cost i don't want that right so i'll simply uncheck it because i want to keep only product cost as the name of the column that is the reason it is asking this thing so i'm good with that i'll simply say okay and now you'll see it has expanded d products and i'm getting that one column also in the name of product cost hope you have understood this feature completely as mentioned in the beginning one can learn power bi in just two months and expect a salary package of six lakh per annum even as a fresher and the best part is there is no coding and no technical knowledge is required hundreds of my mentees already did it so if you too would like to get into the field of data analytics whether you are a fresher or from a different domain then I'm holding a free masterclass where I will be telling the entire career scope of Power BI for you. And also upon joining, you will be getting my best selling ebook on Power BI worth Rs. 1500 absolutely free. The link for this free masterclass is given in the description, bio and in the first comment. Go register, join and I'll see you over there.